Guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to customize your iOS app. Many of you have been asking me that question. So you go to your zip file to you go to Convertify's XC workspace, you open that file on Xcode. Make sure to have Xcode on your computer, your Apple computer. Uh, well, then you head to Convertify. Right here, you can change your bundle identifier. That will be your package name, your bundle ID. If you want to change it, let's, let's do it together. Com.app.convertify in my case. The title of your app is Convertify. I will change it to Convertify app. Um, that's it. Then we go to push notifications. We do the same thing here. Com. App dot convertify. That's it. Also, if you want the app to work on iPad, you enable iPad here and here too. That's it. Then we head to configuration dot Swift. Right here, you can change your the app URL, the website URL you want to convert. In my case, I won't change it, but you have to change it this way. Then you have the user agent. The allow backward forward gesture is to swipe in order to, to change the pages. The external links in browser, you set it to true if you want external links to open in browser. Loading sign, true or false. Loading sign color, put to refresh, true or false too. Status bar color, status bar text color. Here you have the explanation. The rate dialog, you want it true or false. And the push enable, if you have true, then you go to appdelegate.swift and right here you write your app ID that you will see on our on our video tutorial on how to set up the app ID for iOS apps and uh, you can also find it on our YouTube channel um, well info please this file is in order to for privacy reasons that Apple may ask and if Apple says that you need to write something for privacy camera usage then you write all the thing it's already written by us, but you can change it too. And then how to make um, how to change your your app icon? You go to assets. Catalog Creator Pro. Download that app on the App Store. You drop the icon, app icon, and then you click on Create Asset Catalog. You copy this. This folder you go to Convertify and you paste it here then your icon will be this then if you want to change the, the splash screen you go to launch screen right there and then create asset catalog okay it is created right there you copy and then you paste it here right there you will see that you will need just three so out of these I, I don't know how much they are you need to to select three ones so yeah Make sure to paste those three one here. You can get the the size right here and do the same thing. Right there, the dimensions, and just copy them. In my case, I already I already have the splash screen. Then okay, that's it. So let let's test the app. Right there, the emulator. Build succeeded. The splash screen is working fine. Convert if I would like to send notifications. Hello. Make sure to set your app ID now so you it works fine. You have a little documentation too, how to send notification and all that. Okay, so my app is working fine. Let's go to features. 
Okay, everything's working. Okay, uh, so that's it. That's how to make changes on your uh, iOS source code and app. So, well, thank you again for.